Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon, Minozari. Please introduce yourself to the panel board members. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I'm Dr. Vinodini. I've done my MBBS from Indira Gandhi Government Medical College, Puducherry. I was born in Eero district of Tamil Nadu, but however, I was completely brought up from Puducherry itself, sir. So right now, I'm working as a medical officer in a private medical institute. I've also done my Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Bharat Natyam. I've also studied uh, Carnatic music, sir. Okay, so you uh, you were brought up in uh, Tam uh, Pud Puducherry means your father is in the UT Carter. Yes, sir. From the Pondicherry Police Service. Yes, sir. He was in the Pondicherry Police Service, sir. Now he has got conferred into okay, the okay, Indian Police. Okay, okay, I remember. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, tell me, um, uh, you know, you are a doctor, and medical sciences is a very good subject in the UPSC which most doctors who appear for the exam take. But you've taken anthropology, why? Uh, sir, I have developed a general interest towards anthropology, sir. And uh, this is the first reason. And secondly, uh, it is very closely related to medicine. And I also wanted to study something new, sir. Uh, that is why I've taken anthropology. Wouldn't it be a risk, you know, taking something new, altogether new, instead of, you know, doing something which you have studied for five years? And which you, which you are an expert in? Uh, sir, it is uh, not completely new, sir. It is very closely related to medical science. So I took the risk of taking it, sir. Okay. Okay. Then, but, you know, even, uh, you know, being a doctor is a very top-notch uh, profession. It's a very noble profession. That's what people say. So why would yes, you sir. like to join the, you know, uh, civil services? And from your DAF, I can see that you even opted for the, you know, DANIPS and DANIX and all those services also. So, would um, you like to go to the Delhi Andaman Nicobar Island Police Service also, quitting a doctor's job from such a good institute and you're working in your home state, home area? Uh, sir, regarding uh, me uh, uh, choosing the civil services, sir, uh, because as a doctor, what I felt was, sir, uh, the disease, treating the disease is not just about uh, the physical treatment of the disease. The disease has other dimensions also. For example, the social dimension. For ex uh, it, example, the literacy level, the malnutrition and the poverty, which all comes into play in the disease itself, sir. So as a civil servant, I will be able to tackle this holistically, sir. So that is why I wanted to join the civil services, sir. And uh, no, yes, sir, no. the police, yes, sir. Yeah, so how, how will joining the Post and Telegraph Finance and Account Service help you in tackling this? Because uh, that's sir, also one of your options, I've seen. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, as a doctor, I've uh, developed a lot of uh, uh, skills, which I, I think it will be more suitable in the public services, like the compassion and the uh, communication skill, especially, sir. So it will be helpful in handling the civil services, right. uh, sir. Yes, sir. These skills, you know, everybody develops after graduation and after working for some time in any, anywhere. You develop these skills everywhere. So how is medicine is such a good profession? I mean, quitting that and joining the finance, postal, telegraph, finance will be a very odd thing. Don't you think so? Uh, sir, I think I will be able to contribute in uh, those uh, fields also, sir. Those fields Six. also? Okay. Yes. Sir. Now, tell me, you've taken anthropology. And, uh, you know, that uh, in the entire country, most of the tribals have been, you know, uh, taken into the society fold and they're getting the benefits of uh, the economy and everything else. But the tribals and Andamans, and Nicobar have not been have been excluded. They have been they have been kept out of uh, in the the fold in in the jungle. They are living like animals. You think that that is justified? And why are we doing that, uh, sir? Uh, for this, sir, uh, the Sentinelese tribes. Actually, I would like to quote them. They are completely. No, I am not, not talking about the Sentinelese. The Sentinelese is yes, only sir. one particular tribe. I'm talking yes. about all the other Andamanese tribes, the Jarawas, the Onges, 
the uh, the other uh, you know several other tribes which are there in the main andaman islands centrally i can understand they don't let anybody in okay uh, sir regarding the jara was also sir uh, the contact with the outsiders have led to a lot of uh, uh, health issues in them for example there had been measles episodes which had uh, made the loss of a lot of lives of uh, jarawa jarawa tribes so uh, we sh we should uh, take the development at uh, their own pace sir. like uh, whatever they are uh, willing to allow uh, that pace we should do sir we should not force anything on them sir no, but however should, the health who should, who and should the who should decide for them you know they are they are they are um, uh, they are willing to come into contact they come out of the roads and they demand you know food from the tourists and uh, they try to come to the edge of the human populations and meet people they demand food they want things but the, the because of the policy they are not allowed to interact with us so they are wanting so who does uh, yes, we are deciding the... for them you know we are not letting them take a decision uh sir uh, rightly pointed out by you sir we should provide the basic education health and the livelihood opportunities so that uh, they can be uh, developed uh, further sir so if you are posted as an administrator in andaman and you start doing that you will be held in contempt by the supreme court and sent to jail uh, sir within the purview of law sir whatever the law uh, that only i will do sir. you can't do anything that's what i'm saying you are not being allowed to do anything who is the, you are, we are deciding for them they are not being allowed to decide decide for themselves okay so anyway well done okay vinodni um, yes ma'am again you know being a doctor you must i don't know if you heard of the term social marketing have you uh ma'am i am not uh, very much no, aware okay, of that okay okay so my next question was as to you know where has it been used very successfully and i think it's been used very successfully in the health sector so can you hazard a guess as to what it could be about health sector social marketing hmm? yes ma'am uh, ma'am uh, regarding the awareness and education of the community uh regarding the immunization and the health uh, and the sanitation and hygiene aspects so if these are all uh, marketed then the people will be more aware and also the institutional deliveries which the janani suraksha yojana promotes ma'am so mm. they can uh, this will reduce the maternal mortality rate and also the infant mortality rate so this kind of marketing i am able to guess this much Yes, yes. You must just read a little more about it, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, the vaccines, etc., advertising, communication, awareness, all of that. It's all part of social marketing, right? Okay. Um. Uh. You know, one of the medical colleges in the country, I mean, one state, has allowed Ayurveda to, you know, be taught uh, as a part of the MBBS curriculum. What are your thoughts on it? firstly um, which state is it have you heard about it ma'am i am not aware of the name of the state ma'am okay haryana has allowed it okay okay ma'am all right so yes uh, allowed it in the sense that they are going to make it a part of the curriculum mbbs curriculum one year study in ayurveda so what do you say uh ma'am uh rega uh, ma'am they are they are uh, uh, they are uh, people who are studying the ayurveda separately ma'am but however uh, including the ayurveda in the medicine has a scope has a scope ma'am for example the integration of uh, uh, ayurveda with medicine and also the perception of the ayurveda ayush as such will definitely improve among the uh, mbbs students also ma'am so this could be uh, in a uh, positive light only ma'am can you uh, name other traditional systems of medicine like ayurveda uh, ma'am there is yoga unani uh, siddha homeopathy mm -hmm. these are all there mm -hmm. so what um, can you uh, see any areas of convergence between uh, you know traditional allopathic uh, between allopathic uh, you know systems and between ayurveda uh, 
ma'am yes ma'am i can see a point of convergence uh, uh, for this i could quote the example of china ma'am uh, mm. its traditional system has helped in development of a drug called artisunate which is okay. used currently by the allopathic system to treat uh, malaria ma'am mm -hmm. so okay. we can use our traditional knowledge into the uh, modern yeah. allopathic system also so this way it will be better for the nation okay okay they say prevention is better than cure and so nowadays even holistic uh, medicine has been you know kind of being uh, people are propagating it uh, any thoughts on that just half a minute uh, yes ma'am ma'am holistic medicine for example ma'am recently they have uh, pushed into yoga and meditation for the treatment of migraine ma'am uh this has come up recently and also in other chronic diseases uh, the yoga and meditation they have been very helpful in uh, in tackling the medicine not not by just giving medicines ma'am and even food no lot of yes, food yes yes uh, yeah okay and exercise okay. Okay. Yes. okay quickly let's move to you know something else um women okay uh, the honorable prime minister has flagged off a nari shakti yojana 2023 scheme have you heard about it um ma'am i should read about that ma'am yeah i read about it. it's about soft loans yes, to women entrepreneurs okay so yes, you know being a lady they can just ask you about it yes all right okay pandemic preparedness are we now better prepared for any future pandemic uh ma'am we Let's are talk about your state of... hmm yes ma'am uh ma'am we are in the phase of improvement ma'am for example uh, in the past 5 uh, uh, years the number of medical seats have doubled ma'am and mm -hmm. also recently the government has come up with 157 nursing colleges where mm -hmm. nurses are very important they are the backbone of our health healthcare mm -hmm. system and also a lot of innovation in the pharmacy uh, research is also proposed and mm -hmm. uh, these all could uh, help in, uh, in uh, making ourselves ready to the next pandemic but when not any doctors like you are leaving and coming to civil services <laughs> okay anyway all the best to you okay thank you ma'am Yeah, God bless. Yeah, Vinodini. Yes, sir. What's the meaning of Kadalor? Sir, you are you are from Kudalor. What is the meaning of Kudalor? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, sir, in Tamil language, sir, ah, uh, it is it is Kadalur, sir. Kadal means ocean, and Ur means ah uh, a place. It Kadalur means a uh, place near the ocean. Near the ocean. Yes, sir. That Bay of Bengal Sea, sir. And Erode, sir. Erode, uh, Erode means uh, Eru Ode in Tamil. That means two streams, sir. Uh, Eru means two. Ode means stream. Uh, two rivers are cutting across, so that is why uh, it's called Erode. Okay. Now, since you you passed out from college in two thousand fourteen, isn't it? Yes, sir. So, since you passed out from college, can you tell two Uh, structural changes in in the indian economy in the indian ecosystem which have affected the common man positively uh sir first i would like to tell uh, tell about the digitalization system sir uh, the payments uh, payments are made very easy yeah, very good, and very uh, good. second uh, second is about the renewable energy sir uh, which can act, uh, which is uh, now being promoted at a much higher scale for example uh, recently we are having solar cookers yeah, renewable and, energy is is not uh, it is a good good thing but for the, for the common man for the common man in the indian economic ecosystem yes, think sir. of something which has made india one market uh, so the e-commerce e-commerce sector e-commerce the amazon and uh, all these things have impacted something has happened to the tax system uh, sir tax system has been made uh, a gst sir gst yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes so it has made india one market right 
Yes, sir. Yes, Earlier, sir. every state you have to go and get a tax number. Then you can operate in that state. Yes, sir. Cascading effect is gone. Anyway, okay. Uh, tell me what is the Gujarat model of development and what is the Tamil Nadu model of development and what is the difference between the two? Uh, sir, I have to read about the Gujarat model, sir. But however, I'm aware of Tamil Nadu model, sir. Can I tell about Tamil Nadu, sir? Yes, yes, please. Uh, sir, uh, the Tamil... Uh, the Tamil Nadu model actually uh, is about, uh, sir, it is a similar model compared to other states regarding the socioeconomic and the poverty elevation. But however, uh, the Tamil Nadu has been able to do at a little better level comparatively, comparatively sir, because of the, uh, in the health, for example, sir, uh, we have had, a, uh, the Tamil Nadu has a system of uh, procurement of generic drugs. And this system has enabled easier access for uh, for all the uh, socially socioeconomically disadvantaged uh, sector. Okay, Tamil Nadu is now also uh, also focusing on uh, climate change, sir. Uh, sir, uh, the Tamil Nadu is aiming at uh, uh, going uh, net zero even before 2070. For uh, uh, it has recently put up with the EV policy, sir. Where it is attracting a lot of FBI so that let's yes. talk about the common man. He doesn't bother about climate change, what's happening, right? So yes, what sir. is the model of development which has influenced the common man's life? So one health you said was right. Another yes, very sir. good area they have developed, they have worked on is what? Uh sir, regarding education also, sir. Yes, yes, very good. Uh, yeah, uh, education sir, they have done very well. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. And the Gujarat model of development is what? It is infrastructure led growth. Okay. Right? Sir. And yes, then sir. they have a lot of policy stability, which I think Tamil Nadu does not have. But Tamil Nadu has to some extent, but not fully. Yes, sir. Right? And law and order. Yes, which, sir. And Tamil Nadu also has very good law and order. They have maintained law and order for a very, very long time, peaceful. And yes. So these sir. Are three things which are there. Okay. Yes. Sir. My last question: What is circular economy? Uh, sir, circular economy is about uh, reducing the waste waste produced, sir, so that the waste can be recycled and used again as a raw material for some other uh, production, sir. So this is circular economy. So do you think Indians we are mentally oriented towards circular economy? Uh, sir, we are uh, in the process, sir. We should do a lot more to uh, to increase the awareness uh, among the people, sir. And also uh, bring in policy changes where uh, the waste can be recycled a lot. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, sir, I'm, I'm not able to hear you, sir. Okay. Uh, now, is it better audible, slightly louder? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, you, you, you've heard of Indus Valley civilization. Yes, sir. So, uh, like, according to you, like, which is older, Indus Valley civilization, user and anthropological knowledge or the background, Indus Valley civilization is older or Dravidian civilization is older, and why? Uh, sir, uh, regarding the excavation, sir, uh, in the Kiradi, there. Uh, we have evidence up till 6th century BC, sir. But in uh, in this valley, is 1,000 years older, older than the Dravidian civilization. Uh, right now, sir. But uh, there are there has been evidences that the uh, link is a uh, link is present between the Dravidian civil that is Kiladi civilization and the IBC, sir. But the link has to be bridged with the uh, facts. Sir. With the facts. So you believe IBC is older? Yes, sir. Okay, so why this narrative that uh, original inhabitants of India, the Dravidians were the original inhabitants of India and maybe Aryan theory gains, finds some ground? Yes, sir. So if IBC was older? Uh, uh, sir, uh, even in the Rig Veda, sir, there has been conflicts between the uh, original inhabitants of the, of the country and the... Uh, uh, people who were coming from the outside, sir. So this establishes that there were some other people who were uh, originally present, sir. So that could be a reason. Okay. Uh, and 
about retreating monsoon how has retreating monsoon shaped tamilian society or civilization differently from the rest of the dravidian civilization uh sir uh, tamil nadu is mostly <clears throat> based on the northeastern monsoon sir but the other uh, uh, other like uh, karnataka and kerala they are more dependent upon the monsoon so tamil nadu has a natural advantage because most of the rivers are east flowing so uh, the it benefits from both the um, north northeast monsoon as well as from the uh, south, uh, southwest monsoon okay that is great but uh, how has the civilization formed differently or evolved differently because of that uh, sir that could be a reason for the one of the earliest urbanizations which has happened in tamil nadu in the vaigai river sir so that could be a, a civilizational cultural change sir. okay and uh, yes sir. okay and recently christian bharatnatyam was in news what what is it christian bharatnatyam uh sorry sir i have not heard of that sir. okay what is your favorite style uh, when it comes to bharatnatyam uh sir i have practiced the kalakshetra style of bharatnatyam okay do you do you practice it yourself like or is it uh, only theoretical knowledge sir i i have practiced sir i have done my arangetram also and i have done my uh, degree also in bharatnatyam okay you practice it great great yes sir and is it primarily a female centric dance form uh sir it could not be told like that sir because initially most of the uh, teachers were uh, from the male sir and uh, later on now also males are practicing so it is equally important for both of them and lately tamil nadu is in news because of various reasons one being uh, attacks on migrants from bihar yes sir so uh, what's your take on that uh, sir uh, it is uh, it is a false news sir actually there is no attack on the migrants the the tamil nadu government has very efficiently acted and it has collaborated with the bihar government also and lot of bihari officials have come to tamil nadu and they have alleviated the uh, uh, things of the migrant worker workers sir. so now uh, they are working working here only sir no issues there currently okay one last question uh, yes, uh, uh, ruling party bjp finds uh, a lot of ground in karnataka even uh, they fielded a few candidates in other south indian states but not in tamil nadu did they find very little success there what could be the reason uh sir the first reason could be uh the regional parties are more favored uh, they are more established to say sir uh in the tamil region especially the dmk and the admk parties sir this is the first reason and secondly sir uh Uh, tamil nadu traditionally the political uh, scenario they are uh, not uh, they are opposed to the hindi imposition that kind of attitude is there so they are not uh, uh, they are not ready to accept any north indian uh, uh, political parties this okay. these are the reasons but the rest of the south indian states are very comfortable so there are issues in karnataka also sir uh, they have been uh, some protests Uh, in order to uh, not let the i'm sorry sir regarding the bjp sir right 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 why does it uh, find very very difficult to to gain ground yes sir these two other reasons in tamil nadu sir but however the other states are not that much uh, maybe not that much into the okay that's yes, it thank you thank you sir okay vinodini your formal interview is over yes sir how do you rate yourself today how do you think it went uh sir i i was able to give one one or two points sir but i could i uh, i should give more points i think sir and that could be done sir no no the points you gave are enough when is your interview scheduled sir april 12th sorry april april 12th april 12th you got one one yes. more so i mean you know quite a lot already and you are able to express yourself very well the okay. only thing is that you can you know prepare an answer about uh, why uh, the medical profession versus you know one of the lower services in the civil services spectrum okay yes sir like yes. post postal telegraph post and telegraph finance and accounts or and dynamics uh, dynamics police service so 
uh, uh, when you are talking about why you are quitting medical profession to join the civil services, these five, six services do not, you know, substantiate your argument. Yes. You understand? So yes, you sir. can maybe think of a better answer. You can say that because I was asked to, you know, I had to full uh, tick mark all the thing, all of them. So I've tick marked all of them. But maybe when the exam result comes, I will take a call at that time whether to join the post and telegraph service or not. And yes, maybe sir. remain in the medical profession. You can think about it, consult other people also. Yes, sir. Would be a possible answer which might, you know, justify your statement because the statement you are making is about service to society, better administration, all other aspects of healthcare. Yes, sir. Disease. So the, these five, six, seven services do not fulfill that. But then yes, the sir. police service also is your second choice. It also does not fulfill. So you can think of a better answer. You should prepare because this this, this question is definitely going to be asked from you. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, and, sir. And uh, I think otherwise, the other things you were very good, excellent. You've got a, you're very articulate. You can express yourself well and you'll yes. do well. Just keep up, updated about the you know current affairs and government schemes, various yes. government schemes, yes, especially about your hometown, about anything related to your tap. So read the newspaper yes. that morning also. Yes, sir. And read some economic newspapers also. Yes, That's sir. all I can suggest right now. Yes. Just to add to uh, this, Anotni, you can read up uh, also about the history, you know, part of your state. Pondicherry. Uh, Pondicherry as well as Tamil Nadu, both of them. Yes, yeah. Yes, Especially, uh, you know, the modern Indian history, their contribution. I mean, and uh, then, of course, from the ancient times onwards. Some recent findings were there uh, of an ancient civilization under the sea. Uh, no, there was a news yes, item. Pumbuhar, yes, ma'am. Ah, Pumbuhar, yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you could read upon that also. And of yes, course, the Chola Empire, and uh, because they had this huge maritime successes. And of course, yes, you know, a lot, a lot uh, prospered under their rule. Yeah. So, yes, and welfare uh, measures that they had taken for the state. Right. Yes. yes. You'll do well. And of course, in about your medical profession, a lot of questions can be asked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Women centric schemes also, because women centric, you know, they are very low hanging fruit for every questioner. So, yes. In government, you know, the sexual harassment, uh, the POSH, the POSH um, Act, right? Vishaka yes, Gard, all of that. And then, of course, what I asked you, Nari Shakti Yojana, G20 Empower. Hmm? Yes, yes. Just glance through that. Uh, yes, no, you know, okay. One yes. of the UPSC members is a, was ex-chief secretary of Pondicherry also. So, yes, you'll be prepared if you fall in our board. Yeah, okay. All right. Satyavati. Satyavati was, okay. you know, she she can, she will know everything about Pondicherry. Yeah. So you be prepared. She's from Tamil Nadu. So, you know, She's from TN and case, yeah. also Chief Secretary yeah. of Pondicherry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So yes. you'll do well. You'll do well. Just, you know, don't lose momentum. Don't become complacent. Just keep reading up. And yes. Shop. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, sir. So feel that uh, <clears throat> mentally people would uh, compare the Tamil Nadu model with say Bihar and UP and all. So you find out about the social parameters, the health parameters of yes, sir. the northern states and uh, why Tamil Nadu has excelled. And yes, sir. Of things they have excelled, they are very hard on education, especially uh, female education, all those things. But you see, talking about it is if you can put some facts and figures into it. Yes. Sir. And it will add a lot of yeah, value. Because, story, yeah. you know, it, like when I had asked this question, if you had quoted right at the beginning, that compared to India's IMR, Tamil Nadu IMR is this. Yes, sir. Or compared to, you know, MMR, IMR, TFR, or the even yes, the literacy percentage. If you give some facts and figures right in the beginning itself, then people will understand that you are actually gone into the depth of things. Yes. And definitely, the Tamil Nadu model is, is very remarkable. The work which has happened and it has continued. You see, policy stability has happened. Whether it was yes. AP, DMK or TNK, 
the social work went continued. They did not upset what the previous person did. And the midday yes. meal, for example. Yes. They yes. Are, they're, done, they're done very well on it. So read about it. Yes, like sir. Stability. All these things have actually happened there, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So, all the achievements. And virtually whatever happened in Tamil Nadu, Puducherry also copied it. So, yes, sir. So there has been a local impact, right? Yes. But go into it with facts and figures. That's what I would say. Yes, sir. And you can also compare with Kerala, Karnataka. They are your real competitors, Andhra. Right? Yes, sir. The yes. Milado also has had very good investment also. Yes, sir. A uh, lot of these auto giants have come up there. That has made it. So you should you should be able to tell more. No, so more of us yes, in the IPS. So you should be much better informed. Yes, sir. Yes. So that way, I think, work more on this. Yes. You should to sell that thing, you know. Yes. Yeah. Even, make uh, a I just remembered. Not Even... run of the mill kind of a person. Sir? You should not be run of a mill candidate. You should be an extraordinary candidate. That, yes, that sir. should come out from your first sentence itself. Yes, sir. So do work on that, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, Vinodli, even industrial workforce, women in industrial workforce, the southern yes. states top the list, okay? And Kerala okay. and Tamil Nadu in per particular. Mm, yes. Read, I think maybe Tamil Nadu has even surpassed Kerala. Just read women in industrial work. Somebody might just ask you a question, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, there was no See the narrative which you will form. That narrative will take you through the interview. Yeah. So if you yes, give sir. very, very uh, layman type of narrative, then you will not be leading the interview. Yes, sir. So they will ask some question regarding Tamil Nadu. So if you put in your strong narrative, then you will lead yes, the interview. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, there, there were a few archaeological uh, excavations in Tamil Nadu. And the uh, Iron Age of Tamil Nadu, it was in news. Last year, it was in news. Iron Age of Tamil Nadu. And uh, 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 try Googling it. You will find yes. Iron Age. Nadu, and you, 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 even the chief minister of Tamil Nadu uh, informed the assembly as well that they found the, these 4,000 years old uh, iron iron implements. So it dates it back or maybe perhaps at, at par to IVC. So so it's important. Uh, being a student of anthropology. Okay, and yes, then uh, about Christian Bharatanatyam, do read it up. It's, it was in news because it's a different conception. And then hybrid Bharat Natyam was in news. It was taken up by the embassy, if I'm not wrong, else somewhere. So yes, sir. that's it. Baki, I guess the Karnataka and Bharat Natyam, these two could catch maybe. Yes, thing. sir. That's it. And yeah, yes. we have a very pleasing personality, and uh, you can really capitalize on that. Yes, sir. And, sir. Yeah, yes, please. Sir. Sir, any uh, score will be allotted, sir? Sorry? No. Score? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Does she ask it? Score, if you what? want a score, you want know, to. You, you, you near 200. You can get very good marks, out, outstanding marks. Yes, yeah. sir. 180 to 200, easily. Right. Okay. Brush up, you can always maybe slightly mm -hmm. brush things up. Yeah, yeah. Your, your two, the two distinct subjects one is anthropology, medical science, and then this, yeah, Bharatanatyam, Karnatic, and a couple of other things about Tamil Nadu. So, yes, sir. you have a very, very, very good guide. Okay, read about the Pondicherry ashram and everything. You should be able to answer yeah. question about their policies, their objectives, aims. Yeah, what do yes, they do? Sir. Ashriya, Rabindu, yeah. And the French history of the Pondicherry and uh, you know how it was liberated and uh, how it was formed, how the French, you know, why they opened here, you know, everything you read about all that. Yes, some... sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So why is it spread out? Why Pondicherry is spread out in those you know five, six small, 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 small places, very far away from each other? Yes, sir. Very far away. They were on the opposite end of the you know, country. Yes, sir. So, but you uh, read about that. Why? Why is it like that? Yes, sir. 
Um, somebody from, from the administration can ask you. Somebody from the cadre is there on the board, they can ask you. Yes. Okay. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All the best.